Hey Rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode we will be focusing on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs as I'm sure you guys could tell from the intro. So before we begin today's episode I just do want to let you guys know that I am going to be starting my first Twitch stream this week so I will post that information and my username and everything on my community post so just take a look out for that. I'm not 100% sure yet if it's going to be on Wednesday or Friday so just check and I'll keep you guys updated on that. But so let's go ahead and begin. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that like button because we are about to get into some serious drama. We are at the Oasis Springs Palace, of course, and this is right after this big fight and argument that you guys just saw. So we have Arya, Nea, and Philip in here. They are, she like sat down to talk to them. That's how you know it's like super serious. So Arya is explaining to her herself, to her parents about Gabriel because so I mean as you guys saw so Arya didn't know that Aisha knew about her and Gabriel otherwise she probably would have been a lot more careful about telling her parents about Aisha and Max basically Aisha had seen like a while ago she had seen Gabriel sneak into Arya's room through the window and she just didn't say anything about it I kind of wonder if she was waiting to use it against them for something like this so I don't know if it came across but Naya and Philip are mad about about Aisha and Max as well. But I think with Arya, the whole thing is, is just that Arya has like broken their trust and that's what they're trying to tell her is like, we've trusted you and now we can't trust you anymore. Like we feel like we can't trust you because of this. But I think that Arya is, I mean like she's apologizing to her parents, but she's saying like, I love Gabriel. Like you guys can't keep me from him. Like basically telling them like, I've never felt this way about anyone and he understands me and we, are just like really great together. But Naya and Philip's biggest issue with Gabriel is his temper because as you guys can see, Arya has a temper and they know that. And Naya had a temper, I didn't show it as much when we were playing when Naya was a teenager, but when she was a teenager, she had a little bit of a temper too, but her siblings kind of let her get away with things. Like they weren't as headstrong as she was, whereas Aisha is just as headstrong as Arya is, so they get into arguments all the time. So Arya kind of gets it from Nea. She's very similar to Nea. But Philip was the one who kind of helped Nea calm down. And it's really just teenage hormones more than anything. Like, yes, she is headstrong, but a lot of it is her teenage hormones. That's basically what. Okay, all right, Nea. She's like jumping up and down. Philip is feeling energized. I am going to have him try to calm Nea down. Yeah, if you guys remember, Nea's father died from being enraged. So I don't want her to get too angry. But basically, yeah, so Nay and Philip wanted Arya to be with someone who was not going to have a temper like her, who could like help her with her temper and they just didn't think Gabriel was the one for that. I do think that Arya is going to use against them. Like, what if your parents didn't let you guys be together? Like, would you have done the same thing? And I think Naya and Philip would have done the same thing if their parents wouldn't let them be together. They love each other so much, so I really think they would have done the same thing as Arya and Gabriel. I do think that they're just angry that Arya has been lying and sneaking him in, though. Like, that, I think, is what they're the most angry about. I think that they are going to invite Gabriel Gabriel's parents over and Gabriel to like tell them about it and like have a conversation about it. But I think Arya's grounded no matter what. Like she definitely 100% is grounded after this. She probably just won't be able to go to like any social events or anything like that. And I feel like they're going to have like extra guard at her windows as well. I do think Arya and Gabriel are probably still going to try to see each other though. I think they'll find a way. They'll fight and find a way to be together. Another thing too that I feel like Arya is using as an argument is that Gabriel, he comes from a very good family. His aunt and uncle from his dad's side is King Lou and Queen Corinne of Willow Creek. And then on the other side, his aunt and uncle is Prince Consort Dean and Queen Leilana of Suwani. So he comes from a well-respected family. The only thing is his aunt is also Harmony, um, who tried to kill the Oasis Springs family. So there's also that. So that's kind of an issue. So that's what Nay and Philip have against him. It is his temper and behavior and then also his aunt Harmony. And then Aisha and Kimberly are upstairs. They're supposed to each go to their room, but they're arguing. Kimberly 
is arguing and yelling at her. I feel like it's like, why, like, she's like, why would you, one, bring up me and Charles? Like, that happened so long ago. It's not even relevant. Like, that was not necessary to tell them at all. And then also, like, why would you tell them about Gabriel and Arya? They actually love each other. Like, I think Kimberly is just getting on Aisha because she's like, you don't even like Max that much. Like, why are you doing this? And then Aisha's just like, you guys shouldn't have told on me. <laughs> but like, Kimberly and Arya, they went to Aisha first. They gave her a chance to stop seeing Max and like realize what she did is wrong and she wouldn't. So like, that's this whole thing. It's just like, we gave you a chance and you didn't do it. So like, stop it. And then Manuel's just over here texting. He's probably texting Juliet before they go to school. They're really cute. Manuel's just like happy and not really having anything to do with his sisters and everything. Manuel and Aisha are close. And then like Kimberly and Ari are close. So just in case you're wondering of like the dynamic of things in this family, it does look like Arya and them, they've all calmed down. Okay, they've calmed down. I just feel like, and this is kind of why Naya did, Naya and Philip, why they didn't really take control of the conversation because they have been trying to let Arya kind of do things because they want to see if her temper is going to get better and like how she handles things. Even though it's not her job to parent her sister, but they still want, are they flirting with each other in front of their daughter? That seems weird. But yeah, just because they want to see how she'll handle things with her temper because she's going to be queen. And that's the whole thing about like breaking their trust too, is like they've been trusting Arya with a lot of things. And while they're at school, I'll go through something else too that she's kind of put into place. But yeah, they've been trusting Arya with a lot. So as soon as she like really lost her temper that they were like, okay, that's enough. Like she lost it. Like Nae is just trying to teach her how to take control of a conversation without having to yell. And I also feel like Philip was just like, they're gonna have to talk to Aisha too. I think Philip is gonna want Naya to talk to Aisha because like he wants to be there. They're a team when they parent, but like he doesn't want to hear his daughters are doing these things. Like that's just, that's n like, no, he doesn't want to at all. It just makes him uncomfortable. Those are like his daughters. It's weird for him. So he's just like, look, can you please be the one to go talk to Aisha? Because I can't hear anything else of like with Kimberly and like Charles, like he didn't want to know that, like that kind of thing. I do think that Arya probably told her parents before she left though. Like, just so you know, Kimberly and Charles, they hooked up like a while ago, probably like six months ago, somewhere along those lines. So like, it's not like she was like cheating on McConnor or anything like that. So I feel like she was like, just so you know that, cause Aisha didn't make that clear. Aisha just like yelled it just to like get back at them. Okay, well now all of the kids are heading to school. Obviously Arya is still going to be able to go to school. But yeah, I don't think Arya is going to be going to like any party or anything like that anytime soon. Also, just so you guys know, Arya pushing Aisha, like that is like a sibling thing. Like I feel like they push each other all the time, like they're sisters and they argue all the time and they push each other all the time too. So that wasn't like a huge, huge deal. Also, all the kids are at school and they have the house to themselves. I'm gonna make them woohoo. It's important for a marriage. Go ahead, go woohoo, cause we're gonna talk about things. So we'll go let them do that. Um, So one thing I did wanna cover is because someone had mentioned in a comment, like we haven't really talked about the arrangement marriage as much. And it's because a lot of the kingdoms, not a lot of them, but some of them, they don't do arranged marriages. Like Selva Dorada and now Windenburg, I doubt that Amira, after what she's been through, is gonna wanna put her daughter through an arranged marriage. Like they still want them to be from a good family and stuff, but they're not going to like arrange their marriage. Oh my God, no, that's Arya's bed. No, 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 no. Please don't do that in Arya's bed, stop it. Go to your own bed, you have your own bed. Go, go here, woohoo. But then yeah, so then Sulani also doesn't do arranged marriages. And with Philip and Nea, like they had, originally they were going to put Gabriel and Arya in arranged marriage. And then they found out more about Gabriel and his temper and they didn't like that. So they were gonna find someone else. They were going to have her be in arranged marriage with Lord Aaron, but then that didn't really work out. So they've been trying to find someone else for her, but I think they've been so concerned about her temper and they didn't really want to arrange that. Oh, what happened? Go woohoo. Um, but they didn't really want to arrange arrange that if her temper was still an issue. So I think they were trying to help her with that before they did. And then with Kimberly and Makana, so they're dating and I think Nay and Philip wants to do an arranged marriage with them, but they're friends with Dean and Leilana and they know that they don't do arranged marriages. So I don't think they, like they wouldn't want to like make it awkward or anything like that. But I think like their hope is that Makana and Kimberly are going to get married because I mean, Makana is going to be the king of Sulani. Kimberly would be the queen of Sulani. Like, 
that would be so cool. And then with Aisha and Manuel, I think for sure Manuel and Juliet are gonna be put in arranged marriage because Willow Creek, yeah, they do arranged marriages at Willow Creek still. But I think they've also just been focused on Cornelius being like more well behaved. Same thing with like Aisha, like they just haven't focused too much on her because they're focused on another kid. And that could also be why Aisha is like acting out, like she's acting out for attention. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, oh, who's calling Naya? Oh, <gasps> guys, it's March. It's supposed to be March and it's Helena, not just March Helena. She's calling to, to chat. Rosalind is her daughter. <gasps> okay, chat with her. Does she know? They don't know yet. I don't know. They're gonna have to talk to Aisha about this too. Um, and then I have one more thing to talk about. So I'm gonna make a woohoo again. Woohoo. Okay, and then the other thing, I might get into this and talk about this a little too much, but I think it's important. So I think that before all this happened, Arya, so she's been like learning about her family history and stuff. So she has learned because my very first king and queen, King Cash and Queen Kara, King Cash was Indian and Queen Kara was Arab. And then, because when I like had done the first season, you guys saw that I was kind of doing a mix between Middle Eastern culture and Indian culture. And then I think it was the beginning of this season of season two, I had said that we're gonna just focus more on Indian. And I did that because one, I didn't want to generalize the two cultures, because they're very different cultures and people get them mixed up a lot and kind of like get upset. And I understand this because this happens to me with my culture too, but they get upset if people just think it's all the same because it's not all the same. They're two completely different cultures. And then also there was just way more Indian custom content than Middle Eastern custom content that I had seen. So that's why I made it more focused on Indian. All right, I don't want them to just stand there. So we're going to make a woohoo again. <laughs> but I did realize that having more cultures represented in one kingdom just allows us to have more cultures represented because I can't have hundreds of kingdoms for every country. So I would like to have have as many cultures represented as I can. So I think I'm going to bring it back. I think that Arya had suggested like, well, if we are part Arab and part Indian, then why are we just focusing on our Indian heritage? Why aren't we more focused on our Middle Eastern heritage? So I think Naya was like, oh, that's a good point. So I think Arya and her are gonna try to put that into effect. I will look for more Middle Eastern inspired custom content so that way I can add it to this. And then I know that this has also come up. So if you have only seen like a few of my videos or if you have not seen like the first season of the Royal Family, you probably don't know this, but I do just want to let you guys know about this too. Okay, all the kids are home, so they can't woohoo anymore. <laughs> but anyway, so I do try to be as diverse as possible with my game, but I also try to represent interracial couples. So Naya and I mean, Philip's not mixed. Naya is mixed and the kids are mixed too, obviously. So that's why she's not as dark as someone might want her to be for an Indian slash Middle Eastern inspired kingdom. So I just want you guys to know that I did not, like that's how she was born. And even though she is mixed, she, still has Indian and Middle Eastern in her. Oh my God, are they woohooing in Arya's closet? Oh my God, you get, no, I, I just in the room. I didn't even tell them to do that. Oh my gosh, no, you guys. <gasps> That's your daughter's closet, stop it. All right, well, Aisha saw that. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, but basically I just want you guys to know that even though she's mixed, I promise that I'm not making a white family like represent Indian and Middle Eastern inspired culture. That's like the gist of things. But my goal is that one day I will be able to to get a very, very high tech computer that will let me have a ton of Sims, like hundreds of Sims. And I'll be able to represent as many countries as humanly and technical, technologically? technologically possible, just as possible. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to get into that much of a rant. I just feel like I'm lucky enough to like have this voice and have this presence on the internet. So I wanna like use it for things that I believe in, but I also don't wanna like preach your ear off. Yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Okay, wait, hold on. Aisha is drunk? Girl, it is eight. It's eight o'clock on a Monday. What are you doing? She is a really big partier. Her and Princess Elena are, and like Princess Juliet too, but more Princess Elena. They're like best friends and they party a lot together too. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, Okay, so I wonder if we can invite over Gabriel and his parents because I think that they all want to talk. I think Nay and Philip want to talk to Gabriel and his parents and I don't, like Gabriel's parents didn't know that he was sneaking out either. So I think they're just going to tell them about that. Okay, Naya has just invited them all over. Naya's feeling enraged. Okay, yeah, so we invited them over. I, I don't see them yet. I'm hoping they come up. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Gabriel. It's Gabriel. He's 
All right, well, Gabriel's here at least. What about, oh, yep, and his parents are here too. Okay, so we did not invite his sister Minerva, who should actually be a teenager soon. She's been a child for a while. But yeah, okay, so we have Earl Jack or Prince Jack here from Willow Creek. And then we have Countess, I'm gonna call her Ari because I know Ari is usually short for Ariana, but I think it's gonna be way too confusing that his mother's name is Aria too. It's just spelled with an I instead of a Y. So yeah, I'm gonna call his mother Ari. I am going to call them to the meals. I don't think though, like I feel like Aisha and Kimberly and Manuel have probably already eaten and they're not going to join them because this is a private conversation right now. So I'm gonna have them work on their homework. I just accidentally added Gabriel to the household and now I can't remove him and I don't know why. I'm clicking like the right click and trying to remove him but it will not work so oh well. Oh Gabriel's feeling flirty though because he's around Arya. Oh no. Okay, well, Naya and Philip, they are telling Gabriel's parents about what they've been doing. I do think Gabriel's parents knew that Gabriel and Arya weren't supposed to be seeing each other, so they're upset with their son for sure. I do think though that maybe Gabriel's parents are trying to vouch for him though and say like Gabriel's been on really good behavior the past few months. And I do think Naya and Philip will consider letting Arya and Gabriel be together. But right now, like this is the whole point right now is like Arya's grounded for a really long time. So they're not gonna be able to see each other for a while. So they just wanna make sure that Gabriel's parents are aware of that as well. And also wanted to make sure that they were aware that Gabriel was sneaking out of the house. Cause like they are friends with Gabriel's parents. So like, it's hard to do all this and not keep them informed about their children and what they're doing. I just think this makes it kind of awkward for Ari and Gabriel being like, do we, like, why are we here? Like, do we have to be here while you guys are talking about this? Can't you let us say bye to each other or something like that? Would they let them say bye to each other? I don't know, Arya has just like told them how much she loves him. Maybe they'll let them say bye. Maybe they'll give them like, two minutes to say bye to each other or something like that. Yeah, okay. They've had this conversation now. Arya and Gabriel, why don't you guys go into here? Yeah, you guys can go into this room and say bye to each other. I do feel like they're really sad. I would be sad. Oh, okay. All right, well, their parents aren't here, so this is fine, I guess. I do think though that they might've agreed to lay low for a while. Like they'll eventually find a way to see each other, but for now they need to lay low. Arya doesn't want to get in trouble again. But yeah, so we'll see them soon. And then Nay and Phillips still have to talk to Aisha about her situation about Maxwell. So they'll definitely do that. I think they just have to tell her like, you have to stop seeing him. Like you can't do that to your cousin. You can't do that to someone. Like this would cause a huge scandal. Like Naya said in the beginning too. So yeah, but I think that's pretty much everything. Gabriel and his parents, they are going to go now. So Arya and Gabriel got to say their goodbyes. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys thought of the intro, your thoughts on just the drama and all the sisters and Naya and Philip as parents. Just a friendly reminder, you guys have been great, but just a reminder to be respectful in the comments, be respectful towards others. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!